Here's why fire containment has proven so hard in California. The first step for firefighters tackling the devastating Los Angeles fires was to stop them from spreading. This is known as containment, when crews establish barriers to stop fires from spreading, even though flames can still smolder inside those lines. Usually stated as a percentage, containment describes the proportion of the perimeter of a fire that's hemmed in so that flames can't escape. The first step in containment is to begin building a line or a physical barrier that the fire can't easily cross. But firefighters were still battling blazes in Los Angeles weeks after they erupted. How come? These fires, fueled by a rare winter drought and dry Santa Ana winds, have been relentless. Harsh conditions like bone-dry terrain and a strong wind made it tough for crews to gain control. The Eaton and Palisades fires also struck in dense residential neighborhoods where flames leapt from home to home. As ground crews work on containment, firefighters operate from the air to squash flames burning inside the containment boundary. And continuing to patrol the perimeter of the fire is key. Federal aid was supposed to cover 100% of firefighting efforts for now, but political debates could complicate future funding, with President Trump suggesting changes to how funds get distributed. 